All right, guys, fishing the Skyway today. I got some bait fish right here. I brought my cast net. Let me give it a try. See if we can get us some bait. So oh, there's a bunch of bait down here. They're flashing all over the place. I need to get them before they get away. Deep. Little guys are quick. Yeah, that's not working. I think my net sinks faster. I got a plan B. Dude, there's a bunch of them down here. Holy smokes, just loads of them right here. All right, well, I got a sabiki rig. Let me let me get my sabiki rig out, see if we can get them on that. I stopped at Walmart. This is a sabiki rig right here. It's first thing in the morning, guys. Sun just came up over the horizon. This is what your sabiki rig looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six very, very small little flies on it, so. All right, let's see if this gets the job done. There we go. There we go, hooked up, baby. Nice. Check it out. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like they're thread fins. You can tell that because they got a thread on the top of their fin. <laughs> All right, I gotta get my aerator set up. 12 volt lithium battery and my fish saver. All right, she's pumping good. Look at the ripples out there. They're coming in. Get them, baby! Woo! Tangled sabiki again. All right, I think I'll get a couple more and then we'll go fish. Bunch of baits down here. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. As soon, soon as it hits the water, I'm hooked up. We got another one. Oh, he got away. Holy smokes. I didn't even jig it and I got hooked up. See if I can get more than one. Already got one on. I think he got off. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, JC got the mother load, baby. I had four on there. What I hate about these Sabiki rigs, I got two hooks in my shirt and it's tangled. Hey, but they're catching bait. I don't know why I'm complaining. I like to keep catching bait. I've got a little cooler. If they die, I can keep them in the cooler. We're gonna be cutting with cut bait. I wanna get bait while I, while, while I can get it, right? So my plan is to target snapper today. I'm gonna put on a small circle hook and I'm gonna cut these thread fins into little pieces. Just fresh bait, man. That's all. So I'm, what I've got here is some, I've got some number one circle hooks. These are number one circle hooks, not one aught, number one. I'm gonna start out with 20 pound test leader. I got hung on the bottom, I found a rock pile. There we go, fish on, oh that's a good one. Doesn't even feel like a fish though. <laughs> Well, I know I was getting a fish bite down there, guys. That's a stone crab. Thanks, buddy. See ya. First catch of the day. Well, other than bait. She's got high in the sky apple pie hopes that he catches some fish today. 
We got one, guys. We got one. Now we just got to beat the dolphins. Oh, it feels like a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Hey, I think we found the rock piles. Oh, all right. We'll take it. Gray snapper, baby. <laughs> this guy didn't know what he's talking about. It's not a gray snapper. They're called white grunts or Key West grunts or white snapper. Get this guy in the cooler. Keep them chilled. All right, all right, all right. Nothing special, guys. Just hooking these baits on there however I can get them on. There we go. Let's send it out. Whenever I fish with Jetty Rocks Fishing in Daytona, anytime we find those little grunts, we know we're on good bottom, so. I'm just casting it out there as far as I can get it out there. Nothing else will do a catch and cook grunt. <laughs> I mean, I spent, what, 10 bucks to get here? Oh, dude, there's a dolphin. He's just hanging out right out there by my line. He's waiting for me to get hooked up so he can steal my fish. And I'm getting hit by something. There he is. I'm hooked up again, guys. And it's a race to beat the dolphins. And it's a race to beat the dolphins. Another gray snapper, maybe? Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it, dude. Little ruby red lips. Heck yeah. I am not, I am not picky, man. Heck no. I'll be eating this guy for lunch, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm having a good time. Catching some gray grunts. I think we used to call those Key West grunts ruby red lips. Yeah, because Mr. Dolphin, he's on patrol. He's just waiting for me to get hooked up. All right, guys, it's been a while since I've had a hit. I'm going to cut up some fresh bait here. See if that makes a difference. I think all my fret thread fins died. They did. They all died. Should probably just put them in the cooler now. Yeah, the bike turned off right before the tide started moving. Is when I was getting all the hits. Now the current's moving, but it's not ripping. And uh, my weight's definitely getting down on the bottom. So, but I'm just not getting any hits. All right, guys. Quick update here. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half since I caught those fish. The tide turned around. It's moving pretty good. Yeah, right at the turnaround of the tide, the bite was good, but I haven't had a bite in like an hour and a half. So, I don't know. I'm going to move. It's not happening here. There's a lot of pier here to fish. So, let's get out of here. Woo! All right, I took me a good break, drank some Gatorade, got some water in me. This current is really moving fast through here. But I'm going to try. I got some nasty old frozen shrimp i had in the freezer for a while i'm gonna just try some little little pieces of frozen shrimp now see what we can catch with that there he is there we go there we go what the heck oh no another stone crab big female look she's got eggs how do we get this girl undone here or she's got it wrapped up pretty good I can catch the stone crabs <laughs> still haven't had a decent hit in a while well taking a little lunch break eating some almonds getting hydrated got a little bit of shade here it's like 105 degrees it's ridiculously hot I haven't caught a decent fish in three and a half hours if you call gray grunts decent fish if you don't call them decent fish i haven't caught a decent fish since sunrise i haven't caught one zero keep cutting those fishing those cut thread fins and 
I had some frozen shrimp. Neither one of them are really getting the job done. So here's my plan. I'm gonna sit here, get hydrated so I don't get dehydrated. I'm gonna put on a jig and a teaser. I'm gonna walk down along the shore here. Just walk right off to the pier. Go down there and jig around with a jig and teaser for a little while. See what we can find. So, hopefully next time you see me, I'll be hooked up. All right, guys, here we are. Well, it's looking good here. So I'm just going to work my way down on the rocks. And make some jig and teaser casts here. Not even a pinfish. No groupers, no snappers, no ladyfish, no pinfish. Good morning, Rad Reelers. It is day number two on the Skyway Pier. I know I'm a glutton for punishment. I stayed out here for hours yesterday in the 100 degree heat. But hey, the funnest part of being up here is catching bait. And I'm in the same spot that I was in yesterday. I just pull up the first area where the first porta potty is around the dumpsters. There's a lot of bait out here. So I'm gonna take a cast and see if we can get us some more baits to cut up. I might get some shrimp today too, if they've got some shrimp. But yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a bunch of them out there. I'm not gonna keep them alive today because I was just cutting them up yesterday anyway. So I bought, I brought a little bag. I'm just gonna put them in a, a Ziploc bag. There's one. Well, I felt him. I'm just gonna put them in a Ziploc bag today and keep them in the cooler. There we go. Oh, he got off. At two hits, boom, boom. So the tide's still coming in. It's supposed to switch around around seven o'clock, or it's supposed to be high tide around seven. Oh, there we go. Now, as soon as it gets out there, I get one. They're they're pretty thick. But it's incoming now. It's supposed to be high tide at seven. Well, I got two of them. Good deal. Yeah. Don't get tangled. It's supposed to be high tide at seven. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. It's supposed to be high tide at seven o'clock. Yesterday, the, the fish that I caught and I had a couple other bites, it was right after the tide turned around. So we got a little time here. It's daylight. We can catch us a few of these little guys. Gonna stick in my little baggie here. All right, here we go, baby. I always reel these stupid sabiki rigs up into my fishing eye like a rookie. There we go. Need to put a big swivel on the <laughs> on the end so it won't reel up into the fishing rod. Oh, look at that! Lost him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, definitely. Yesterday I discovered it's easier to catch these guys one at a time than kind of try and catch three or four. If you try and catch a bunch of them, you just get tangled. But it's what we're using again today. Whoa. These are uh, thread, these are thread fins. They got the little thread on top of their fin right there. So the one thing I didn't do yesterday is I didn't ever really chum. I didn't just like cut up a bunch of little pieces and try and chum up some snappers. I'm not familiar with fishing up here. I fish up here with other people that know where the rock piles are. 
But today what I did, I, I went on Google Maps or Google Earth. Yesterday I went on Google Earth on my phone and I found, there we go, I found the rock piles around uh, number 97. That's where I caught the fish. But today before I came out here, I took a moment to just go ahead and print out a couple of rock pile areas from Google Earth. Number three, catching baits easy up here, guys. So yeah, I printed out the uh, a couple of areas where the rock piles are. I got a little better idea. You can see them really well on Google Earth. I tried looking at them on Google Maps. Google Maps I had where you can actually see like Google Earth. But the problem with Google Google Maps is there's a lot of reflection on the water. You can't see. <laughs> you can't see the rock piles. It'd be nice if you could see them on Google Maps. That way you know exactly where your car is positioned or your cell phone in relation to where the rock piles are at. And we'll catch us a few more here. Bait ball moved way over that way now. There's a lot more bait in here yesterday. Yesterday there was like five or six big schools. There we go. Got them right in front of me. Here I'm casting way away from the bridge and I got it right in front of me. The ones that are down under the water flickering, they won't hit. But when you see them up on top of the water, that's the school that you want to cast on. See there? I was jigging and jigging and jigging, wasn't getting anything. That school got close enough. I threw it out there and bam, I got hooked up right away. All right, guys. So I stopped and picked up some shrimp. I stopped and got some shrimp from the bait shop. And I love it, baby. I love it. I ordered two dozen shrimp and I know he put four dozen in there. He put me some nice scoops of shrimp. Heck yeah. We might get torn up by pinfish, but hey, we're going to try it. And I also asked, you know, I said, where's the best place to get some snappers? And all he said was go deeper, go deeper. So go deeper and fish by the pilings is what he said. So we're going to try to go deeper and fish by the pilings. Hopefully that'll help. We'll see. Hey, hey guys, I'm up here fishing in the Skyway, obviously, and I met some new friends. Um, I know this is Junior, and this is Adam, and this, I want to say Aaron, but Aaron, yeah, I got it. Are you kidding, dude? Yeah, yeah. yeah Aaron came over, and he's, he said, hey, and uh, they're not giving me any tips, but they did say that they enjoy the, the Skyway fishing beer sucks videos, you know? That's but, another one to the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how many of you got this morning? Um, I think we got like four. What, four snappers? Oh, yeah. dude, look at that. So there are mangrove snapper. Okay, I'm gonna stay right around here, but I'm not gonna tell you guys where we're at, so I don't think I revealed anything. Okay, well, let's see. I'm encouraged now. Thanks for showing me your fish. All right, let's get back to it. All right, guys, show you how I'm rigging here. I'm gonna put on a one and a half ounce sinker because this current's moving really good up here and then I am going to tie on my swivel trim that off get some 20 pound leader put a nice long leader on here probably about four feet long I'm just gonna tie this on with an improved clinch knot and then in here I've got some circle hooks circle hooks there we go little circle hook oh there we go fish on fish on baby pin fish are you kidding me dang it hey at least i got something all right guys got in about an hour and a half of fishing in and i have caught one pin fish <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god i hate the skyway but look at all the birds though look at them goodness <sighs> yeah my next video 10 reasons why i hate the skyway fishing pier right oh my goodness 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 all right guys i came over here while i was catching some yesterday and i had some pretty good hits on this rock pile let's see if we can make something happen here the tide has just slowed down to nothing it's getting ready to turn around that's when i was getting them yesterday so let's do it Fish on. That's a good one. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Here we go. Got to get him in before the dolphins find him. There we go. There we go. I think we got another gray snapper. Yep. There we go. That's what I was after. Oh, it's a mang. It's a big mang, guys. Big fat mang. I got a keeper mangrove snapper. I got a keeper mangrove snapper. Woohoo! Heck yeah nice i finally got something decent from the skyway fishing pier i love it man Woo! i feel like doing a little dance baby <laughs> 11 and a half inch snapper time nice heck yeah baby look at that one snapper in the box i love it i love it i love it heck yeah <laughs> Yeah, baby. Got him on a little chunk. We're getting a hit on this rod. GoPro, start recording. Oh, I lost him. Dang it, dude. I think he broke me off. He did. Son of a gun. Dude, that was a good one. That was a good hit. That was a good hookup. The problem was my drag was loose. He must have been right in the rocks because my line, my braided line broke. Cut me off. Dang it. Oh, that was a good hit. Wait a long time on the Skyway to get a good hit. <laughs> like, you can come up here for years and not get a good hit. That was a good one. Let's get back on. Dude, I got thread fins coming in right here. I'm going to jig up some more baits look at all of them down there bunch of them bunch of them and i got something little i got something little got a squirrel fish again or a little grunt yes perfect size snapper bait right there all right guys this is going to be the the dolphin experiment i'm going to hook this one in the anal fin give this one a heave ho dolphin mr dolphin look at him look he's looking up he's trying to find my fishing line all right he found the fishing line now he's going to follow the fishing line to the fish. And I bet you he hits that rod in about 30 seconds. There he is. Look. There he is. He's getting it. There he goes. Son of a gun. He got it. He pulled it right off of there, guys. Friggin' dolphin. They are so smart, man. Dolphin. Every, every time you put a live bait on the dolphin, get it. And go back to cut bait. <laughs> Eleven o'clock. Four and a half hours on day two. Day one, I got two small gray grunts. Day two, I got one keeper mangrove snapper. Hours. Sixteen dollars to get in. I think eight dollars to get in. Plus the toll, another dollar. Just call it twenty bucks. Plus I bought bait this morning. That was another thirty dollars, guys. And I caught three little dinky fish. I had more more fun catching bait than I did anything else. But typical Skyway Bridge, right? I hook on a live bait and I throw it out there. Within a couple minutes, the dolphins get it and pull it off the hook. That happened to me twice this morning. But 
I did though. I, I absolutely had a blast catching bait today. Had a good time. So, that's not bush, is it? No, kind of looks like bush. Just thought I'd see. <laughs> well, same old, same old story. South Skyway Fishing Pier sucks. Nothing's changed for me. I tried. I did catch a keeper mangrove snapper. I met those subscribers this morning. They had a few mangrove snapper, but there were three of them fishing, and they had been fishing for about four hours. So that tells the story too, right? It's tough up here on the Skyway Bridge, guys. But hey, a tough day of fishing is better than a, a good day at work, right?